right, everybody. Uh, bath salts back here with tailoring part two slash how to actually get thread. If you were here from the last video, um, we kind of talked about how thread is going to be your limiting factor when it comes to leveling up tailoring. So I'm going to show you how I farm up thread pretty quickly. Um, this is just my preferred method. Also, just as a side note too, if you were here from the last video, I did wind up just go ahead and <laughs> leveling up my tailoring to nine. Um, again. If you did not see part one, this is a separate playthrough. This is my own solo hardcore run that I'm doing. Um, so if you are watching the recorded series that we've been showing, we're not wasting days. You're not missing out on anything, anything like that. A couple of side notes, too, that I'm not sure if I brought up during part one. Um, when you have a hole in your clothing, right, you rip it on a tree branch, a fence, you get scratched, and you have a hole in your clothing... Even if you add a patch to it, prior to tailoring level 8, it's still going to give you zero protection. Um, a good example of this, now that we're tailoring we're 8 or higher on this character, I'll show you this tank top that I have. I'm just going to remove these real quick. I um, actually don't know. Well, this, this, long story short, this tank top has a hole in the lower torso. But because my tailoring is above level 8, it gives me the full protections back. So just another reason to level up your tailoring if you've got some good articles of clothing. You know, maybe you've got a set of long johns and it's the only pair you have, but it's got multiple holes in it. Get tailoring to 8, you can fully repair that, get all your protections back. I figured as well I'd go over kind of what this character's wearing that gives him the protections that he has. You can see the scratch is basically majority is 100%. Our bite ranges anywhere from 24 to 100%. Most of this is in the high 70s, um, low 90s. So it's it's legit tailoring. It's worth the time. Um, and another thing too, as we go out here to go get thread, you're not going to get as much thread when you go out to do this method when you're tailoring level zero. This, this character is going to get more thread than normal because he's level 9. So as you increase your leveling and tailoring, you're going to you're going to continually get better gains when you're farming thread because the higher your tailoring level is, the more thread you're going to get back. Um, but as I kind of mentioned in the first video, I would primarily just look for sewing kits and I, I had no idea how to even get thread, which would hold me back from leveling my tailoring. Now, fun fact, uh, I've already tried recording this once already. This pile of zombies here that we killed, this is from the recording that didn't work. <laughs> so that's what this pile of bodies is. Um, I'm hoping that uh, we don't have any issues on this one, though. But that's the gist of it. I, I call these, if you've watched my playthrough that's recorded, I call these clothing piles. We're basically just going to try to grab as many zombies as we can. Kill them in a stack of bodies like that. And then uh, that's going to allow us to get thread a bit more efficiently. Um, let's gather these up. Because we don't need to have hundreds here to get our point across. We'll grab these guys real fast. As this is like a little side note too. You do not need to sprint. You can outpace zombies just by walking. This will help you in the long run. Um, save stamina, especially if you like using two-handed weapons. Just walk. You're going to be faster than them. Save your stamina for, for your weapon swings. But we're going to go back to uh, Thread, because this is what this video is about. Figured I'd throw that in, though, while I was gathering these guys up. Alright, so that, that'll be enough to prove our point here. Um, if you have, like, a horde of, like, 50 zombies, typically what I'll do if I'm trying to get Thread, I'll do a bit slower pulls, maybe three or four, just so I can really gather them all up. Um, we're going to go and quickly kill this guy. So, we want to pile them up here the best we can. Love the garden fork, by the way. Alright. So we're going to use some of the other pile we had, too. I'm super paranoid because I do hardcore runs. I'm always checking around before I start ripping clothing. It looks okay. Um, so yeah, this is our pile. Now, when I first started playing, when I was ripping clothing, 
I would go to the um, the looting table here, and I would individually rip clothing. I'm just gonna take that duffel bag of painkillers. But yeah, I'd see sneaker, I see like socks or pants, and rip clothing, and then I would rip all. You can do it that way if that's your preferred way of doing it. I found out later on that you can just hit the letter B, like boy. That'll bring up your crafting menu. Go to your general tab. And now this is going to rip clothing of anything that's in my site. So I can move around 13, 16. I can kind of get the best angle here to get the most. Uh, so it looks like 16 is going to be the most. Um, another side note too. If you just keep this menu up. And like let's say one of these zombies that's dead over here has denim pants like denim pants on it's not gonna pull it up you actually have to refresh so as you can see look leather and denim just came up for me even even though that wasn't there prior so when you're changing up your your like line of sight when you're doing this just constantly just refresh it that way you know you're not missing out um, we've got our scissors on us as we mentioned in tailoring part one carry those put them in your fanny pack have them on you at all times it's going to help you get the better materials and then we're simply going to rip leather rip denim and then rip clothing and then fast forward the game now that was 18 articles of clothing we're ripping here and we didn't have to individually click through every single zombie to do this so this is just a more efficient way of doing this all right now just out of curiosity let's see how much thread did we get because that's what we're looking for we're looking for farming thread we got 18 threads, so we basically got one thread per article of clothing. Now again, I want to reiterate, I know this character's tailoring is level 9, I just wanted to use this as an example. You might only get back 2 or 3 thread, but again, you're going to level up to level 2 tailoring, level 3 tailoring rather quickly. You're not going to need that much thread, especially if you've got book buffs on. But this is the gist of it keep leveling up that tailoring you're gonna get more and more thread when you do this and then you'll start getting as much thread as this character is um, we've cleared out we're ripped up most of the clothing over here we'll, we'll go through one more time here just to see how much more clothing we can uh, thread we can get here's another three we'll rip this and just in a little tiny quick clothing pile zombie run here we'll see if there was any denim here too we'll refresh our screen and you can see look there there wasn't leather or denim there while I was walking with the crafting uh, menu up. We refreshed it and then it showed us a leather and denim article of clothing to rip. Um, we'll clear out some more here. We'll refresh it. Nothing. Let's see what else. Some, sometimes it'll bring your cursor all the way down. We'll refresh again here. No denim. And it looks like we cleared it all for the most part. But yeah, 28 thread just from this little pile here. And most of these were already ripped from my recording that didn't work. So if thread has ever held you back, take your favorite weapon, go have some fun, stack up a nice pile like this, get to ripping thread, uh, ripping clothing, and you'll get plenty of thread. And that's how I'll do it. You're going to get a ton of ripped sheets and dirty rags too. I personally, I don't clean the dirty rags what happens is that the dirty rags wind up becoming my fuel for whatever my oven is whether it's an antique oven a barbecue that's what i use as my primary uh, fuel for that so i would save the dirty rags and just load them into whatever cooking uh, device that you're using um, i usually wind up having to drop my rip sheets on the floor or if i decide i want to make log walls if you're looking to build an outer defensive wall with logs you can use the rip sheets as replacements for rope but this is why it's the preferred method of leveling up tailoring in my opinion because you're going to have an infinite supply of these whereas in that whole pile here you can see we got 10 denim and 22 leather and that's at tailoring nine so you're not going to be a you know have an abundance like you will of denim and leather like you will with rip sheets so you will get more XP with the denim and leather, but just use the rip sheets. You'll get there just as fast, and that's how I get thread. Um, let me know if you guys liked the video. Um, if you really liked it, consider subscri uh, subscribing for more content. Um, depending on how these videos do, I might do some more skill guides on just how to level these things up. Um, you know, if you guys have questions, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you want to see a particular skill guide. 
I'm more than happy to make it. I do this video for you guys, so let me know uh, some feedback. Let me know what you guys think. And hopefully you learned something in these two tailoring videos that I made. I know it's something that I wish I would have had access to when I first started playing Project Zomboid. So let me know what you guys think, guys. It was a pleasure, and I'll catch you on the next video. Take it easy.